speaking of anime recommendations. Oh, uh, like, yeah, since we're on uh, some new anime for the season, I will say I was actually decently impressed considering uh, normally there's only, like, what, maybe, like, six, seven new anime people talk about uh, per season, and then out of those anime, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe, like, honestly, you can say arguably, like, one to two per season that's truly, like, hot. Yeah. But this, I actually found like like uh, all three anime we just mentioned, Dark Stone, uh, Kimetsu no Yaba, and then Fire Force. I think all three of those are actually like hot, and we'll be talking about for a while. But there's two others that um, that I, um, looking at right now that I think are pretty effing decent as well, and I actually recommend it uh, as also. So um, one, a um, new is uh, Isekai out, um, Ari Furetha from Common Place to the World's Strongest. Now, just a quick premise, it kind of starts off a little bit like the Rising of the Shield hero. So you got um, a whole class of kids uh, coming to a new world, and they are the chosen heroes to help out this world in the, this time of crisis, long story short. And at one, you find out that while Homie was uh, with his, uh, with his uh, classmates, along with a couple other like in-world veteran people, um, like in a dungeon, trying to uh, pretty much conquer it, get rid of them bad people, bad people, um, slash get some rewards to help him out on the journey, he was pretty much trying to save them, and then one of his homies, who we don't know still, pretty much effed them up and caused them to be um, like stranded in the dungeon itself. From there, he was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And then he has a revelation saying, you know what, F everybody, F the world, gonna do my own ish, get better on my own, and pretty much become OP. So he low key gets a little psycho, which is kind of attractive though. I mean, pause. <laughs> attractive. <laughs> attractive in the sense of like the anime world. Um, and like starts low, like eating demons, getting like their powers, and like slowly has like that starting to become OP because the more demons he eats, the stronger and more powers he gets. So it goes along that lines, and oh, then like the end zero. of the dungeon, you uh, not the end of the dungeon, but like uh, midway in the dungeon, you find out um, that like a super OP vampire chick has been uh, locked away, saves her, and then that becomes his like you know isekai companion, right? So they start off, keep on going, boxing the dungeon, and like the style, like the mentality of it all is again more like the Rising of the Shield Hero, which is really hot. And then also a uh, new ish anime that like ended its second season, I think spring of 2019, was Reincarnate as a Slime. And it kind of has like that slight humor and that slight like op ness that I really liked about that anime as well. So check it out if it's hot. Oh, plus he's got dual pistols. So, if you about gunslingers, he's about oh, that okay. life. Hey, uh, there's like another the new list. anime that I just realized came out. I've been meaning to watch it. I know y'all probably will not fuck with it, but um, that one anime, um, my uh, magical, a certain magical index, uh-huh. like is very popular. Obviously, we tried to watch it three yeah. seasons <laughs> deep, and it's not a good yeah. time to catch it. But it has its second spinoff. Yeah. Right. So they had a certain scientific railgun. Now they have a certain scientific accelerator, mm-hmm. which from the show, if you watch, there was this like a uh, fifth level Esper named Accelerator from season one. He was like just this OP ass nigga. He could change the vectors on anything. So like if you shot something at him, he could just like boop, reverse that shit. Oh, like you I couldn't think. fuck with him. Only the main character could knock him out because oh. he had an arm that canceled like magic and shit. Oh, nice. So it was like. Yeah, so we were like, we yeah, got Ostar, except he didn't put in the work. You know, Ostar has that niggas a feel that moment. He's just a regular nigga, you know. So, so you get back up after he hits you, but like, um, but yeah, um, I would say check that out if you're into a certain magical index. The spinoffs you don't have to watch the main series to watch the spinoffs. They just kind of they own thing. Gotcha. Uh, oh, uh, last anime I wanted to recommend from this season is To the Abandoned Sacred Beast. And the premise of these is that, um, start off, let's just like, you know, imagine, um, just imagine like a country, right? And, uh, get split in two, uh, civil war goes down for like, you know, who wants to rule the country. Uh, one side was pretty much getting smoked, getting smoked, getting smoked. Then a scientist, um, discovers a way to utilize some kind of cell that um, specialized people get 
that pretty much um, can turn them into monsters or beasts, aka like uh, werewolves, vampires, lizards, animals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I guess you can kind of imagine them as mutants a little bit, and they amplify that gene so they can utilize the beast that you know they more correspond with. In any case, the war is not even the most important. What happens in the war, and you figure out with the experimentation, is that by them amplifying these genes, they become more and more personally like the beasts themselves. And they come to find out, like, you, they used to be able to transform from human into beast, and, like, once they keep on doing that, it's harder and harder to switch back. In any case, the war is over, and you, they pretty much get injected back into real-world society, and the the main homie actually is trying to kill off his other warrior homies because they doing um, so much bad ish as beasts and losing their humanity. So like episode to episode, he's going from like um, another um, pretty much co warrior that was in the war trying to kill them off because they're being um, a detriment to society. But it's hot. Like the action, really tight. Um, definitely a decent premise and a little, and it also reminds me of another a kind of, I'm not going to say newish anime, but maybe like a couple years old, uh, Killing Bites, which kind of had that premise too, that everyone that utilizes powers of a certain animal and was an attorney. Kind of has that same feel if you were about that anime too. Mm-hmm. So check them both out if you like kind of mm-hmm. action, um, adventure, and then also, uh, I guess, magical sense to it as well. Cool. Grams, any anime or manga recommendations that come to mind? All right. Uh, I do have one, which oh, is Chainsaw Man. It's mm, a right. manga. Uh, no anime yet, but if it gets an anime, I'm definitely watching that shit. Oh, that's going to be great. This shit is fun. great. Give me life every Monday <laughs> on Mega Stream when I read it because it's just like quirky, funny, but like also just like gruesome and real so what is it about so it's about this guy named denji and um he has this like demon with him uh that's like this he calls it pachita but it's like a chainsaw weird snail thing some shit happens they get attacked by a demon um and he ends up like dying so he makes a contract with this chainsaw demon to basically become a part of mm-hmm. him. So he becomes like, quote unquote, chainsaw man. So like he has this like string that he pulls on his chest mm-hmm. and it uses that blood to like make these chainsaws kind of like grow on his hands and his head. And he just like cut shit up. But like it gets deeper because he ends up joining a bureau of people um, who have like either demons demon people like him that like made contracts with demons mm-hmm. or like these like humans who have made like these different types of contracts with demons where they're able to use like certain parts of their powers to do different things um but in overall like i'm not doing it justice it's just like if you read it you'll you'll get how crazy it is the only thing is the guy who wrote it he wrote another manga that i i read before i read chainsaw man which is called fire punch that shit is like a mind fuck and also very like weird and incesty. So, mm. <laughs> so that's like my hesitation about where like Chainsaw Man might go. But for right now, it's been saying pretty kosher. Uh, but I just always keep that in the back of my mind because Fire Punch was just like really odd. It was an uh, interesting read, but just like very odd. So, hmm. But yeah, definitely if you're looking for a new manga to read and you haven't started Chainsaw Man, it's only like 30 some chapters in. It's definitely worth the read. Hmm. Um, no, I could definitely attest to that. Not caught up, but it's it's funny. Yeah, I, I like the humor in it, even though it's like so gritty and gruesome, low-key. Yeah, so. have you got... How deep are you in? Like, uh, I was rabbit? only... Um, oh, they just beat uh, Bat Buddy. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. You yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. early in, so you, but you met Power. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Cool. So, on to the manga section. Um, I will give Gramps a second, so we can do the, the Julius Noble Chrono thing first, and then we'll do the My <laughs> Villain stuff at the end.